Hey guys, it's E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to finish up this little journal today. Now, I'll tell you, I did stitch around this yesterday, but if I had it to do all over again, I wouldn't. <laughs> Just because my sewing machine is an old, old sewing machine, and nothing moves on it like arms or anything like that. If you have one of those newer ones where the arms move back and you've got all kinds of room, it's fine. But when I got to the middle of this, I mean, I'm on some of them, you know, I went really crooked, which it's not a big deal to me, but um, I just wouldn't, it was just hard. I just wouldn't do it again. <laughs> not on my sewing machine. If I had a new one, I probably would, but not on mine. Um, I just stuck this on there last night just to get the picture, so I'll probably end up finish gluing that. I'm going to go ahead and make tags to go in here. Now, I've got lots of tags that are left over from that other kit that we did the other journal and some of them have even got little doggies on them so i thought those would be cute to put in the front of maybe a bigger tag so let's go back here to the back and here's some of the larger ones that i went ahead and cut out and this is one of the freebies that we did i don't want the green one in there Okay, I think I'll put that one in there, but I am going to back it and then trim it because this is kind of, it's just printed on copy paper. And I'm just going to use some of my favorite paper to back things like this with. See if I can move some things off of my glue place over here. Lordy mercy. Have I got a mess. This, it always gets this way right at Christmas though. Now, someone said yesterday that my video was a little fuzzy. Um, I have reset all of my settings, and to me, when I'm looking at it right now, it looks good. But let me know if you're seeing it a little bit fuzzy. And I will continue to adjust as best I can. I don't know. It, you know, like I've told you before, I'm not real hip on this camera I don't I, I, it's too many buttons and things that you need to fix to to fix things you need to fix to fix things too many buttons that you need to move to fix things and that's just not not my cup of tea but I there's certain things that I can adjust so just let me know I mean like I said when I'm looking at the the view right now it looks clear to me and then again you know it could sometimes it's not the video it is youtube i have found that because the other night i was trying to watch one and youtube kept messing up and it would go real blur and then it would straighten back out and okay i tried to trim that off a little bit and I didn't wait for the glue to dry, so you know, you know how that goes. Okay, that looks a little straighter. Now I'm just going to round these corners because this is going to be a little journal card. And let's see what this looks like in here. Oops! Throw my ink pad around. Now these could also be stitched if you wanted to. These would be easy to stitch. I may stitch them before I put the little journal up in the store oh that's cute little doggy peeking out at the other little doggy all right since we've got two dogs there i don't think we need another little doggy so what about let's find a little narrow tag okay we could possibly put that little tree down in there that wouldn't hide the little doggy all the way but it would give us another little journal spot, so let's do that. Oh, I should have said welcome to Winging It Wednesday. We're going to wing it today. Everything looks so cro crooked to me today. I don't know if it is or if it's just my eyeballs. It's a little bit better. 
oh, we'll stick that one right down in there and we'll still have our little doggy. Now I'd like to have a label or something on here. I don't know if I necessarily want another doggy because we've got so many of those already on there. So let's see if we can just find a label that we could put on. I might put some of these because it matches that little dog there. There we go. And I don't, I may come back and put a little fabric there. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and attach that down. And that's just going to cover where we had those little holes there. Okay. Then I don't think I want anything here. Here we need a little tag to tuck in. And we could even use this little girl since we've got a doggy over here. I know I keep calling them doggies. That's what I call my little um, grand puppy doggy. Because she's a little bitty baby. She's just two, I think. Yes, this Christmas she'll be two. Miss Lila Rose. And she thinks she's the boss of everybody, too. She's a little mess. And then I have three more grand doggies. And they're they're actually almost grown, all of those. Well, Cooper is grown. He's like, I don't know, 13 years old. So he's grown. Um, Gigi is only three, I think. And then Tucker, I think he's four. And Cooper is a Golden Retriever. Gigi is uh, one of those Labadoodles or whatever you call it. The little curly haired dogs. And then so is Tucker. Gigi is a blonde and Tucker is black. So I've got lots of grand doggies. That's what Brooklyn asked me when I told her I made this kit. She said, did you make some that look like Tucker and Lila and Gigi and Cooper? I said, I don't think too many of them look like them, but I made, I got the best I could do. <laughs> it was hard to find little dog pictures that I could use, you know, that were copyright free that I could use. Let's see, I think I want something tall behind that. I may just do a little Christmas tree. And I'm going to put, I think, this on the back of it. And then I'll have to straighten it up. Of course, it's crooked right now. So let me know in the comments below if you have some doggies or grand doggies or whatever. I don't have any at my house. Just because, not that I don't love them to death. And I enjoy having all my dogs around. But, I am very hazardous prone. And when I have the dogs over here and they, you know, rip and romp through the house, I end up just about tripping and breaking my neck when they're all excited and running and ripping. So, I decided that it was probably best that I didn't get a dog. Plus, I tell you, taking care of yourself is one thing, but when you're taking care of yourself and dogs and everything else it's another not that they're a lot of trouble it's just that you know there's certain things you got to do especially if you got a puppy Lila has takes lots of care <laughs> she don't even like it when she's over here and I get up out of my seat she wants me to sit down and hold her all the time she's spoilt rotten so I have to take her just about everywhere I go. She even wants to get in the bathroom with me and I, I end up closing the door and leaving her out and she'll sit out there and whine the whole time I'm in the bathroom. Like, Lila, you're worse than my babies were. When my girls were babies, that's what they used to do. They would sit outside the door and cry when I went to the bathroom. I'd be like, I'll be out in a minute. 
but they were, when they were like one and two, they'd sit out there and cry, Mommy, Mommy. <laughs> That's like Lila is. She wants you to take her everywhere with you. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do on that. And then this is a big tuck, so it can take a big something other. Something another. You could actually take one of those, but it wouldn't show very much. So let's see what else we got. What we could put in there. Yeah, I love the dogs, but they are a handful. We could probably put that in there. It wouldn't show, but then we could put one of these maybe in front of it. Maybe a Santa or something. I thought I had a Santa in here. Where'd my Santa go? There he is. Maybe we could put a Santa. Well, he's going to get hidden too. So anything I put in here is going to get hidden. So I think I'm just going to put a couple of pieces in there. And not worry too much about it. The person that gets it can slide them out. And someone asked me on the video. I can't remember what day it was. But they said, are you not going to finish the journal that I started with the large envelope. Yes, I'm going to finish it and I'll finish it on camera with you guys. But, you know, I'm just trying to do some of everything. I don't like to just continually stay on the same project because to some people that gets very boring. So I like to add in lots of different things, especially right here at Christmas because people are looking for different ideas to make things. So I thought I would just add some different things in. But yeah, we'll get back to that. We may even do that tomorrow. I can't remember if I have anything else I have to do tomorrow or not. We may get back to that journal. Yeah, just hang on. I'll, I'll get around to getting it all done. It's just... So I'm going to make sure that fits before I... I do need to trim a little bit more off. See if that works. Yes, that works. My house smells so good. My baby Aaron coming clean for me today. And I call him ba my baby. And Melina will say, Mother, he is six foot three and, you know, like 260. So he's not a little kid anymore. I said, I know, but he's still my baby. He'll always be my baby, regardless. Okay. I don't think I want a little dog on there either. No, I don't think I'll put a, mix the little mice along with this. Um, but I do want something here. So let's see. We may just find something. Let's see what we got in here that we can put there. This is the Tim Holtz pieces. We could put this label there. I think I just want to cover that guest check up there, part of that, and make that look like it's a little gift, maybe. I think that will work. And then I'll probably stick one of these in there, too. Just one of the vintage cards in there. I'll back it and stick it in there, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'll do it in a minute. All right, and then we've got this belly band. Now... For the belly band, what had I decided I was going to do? I had decided something, really, I had. But I don't remember what it was. Um, let's see. I had a piece of paper over here that I had intended to use. I don't think it was that one. I think it was this one. Yeah, I'll have to even it up, but I think it was this one because I liked... All of this with, with these colors. So let's see. We'll cut it off about right there. Now all of this is about. Because I'm just guessing at it as, as I go. There is no exact measurements in this. 
project. Okay, now that should go down in there. Well, it does. So we're going to use that, and then I had some of these left over when I made the signatures. Oh, my eyes are itching, sorry. And they're probably, yeah, they're a little wide, but we'll, that's okay, we'll cut them off. And I was just going to do a little, just a little notebook that hangs down. Kind of like what Carol did in hers. And I know, Carol, I'm copying you all the way. I'm sorry. Hope you don't mind. I just think what you did is so pretty. So, I think that many will be enough. But I'm going to use this one. I won't have to cut it off. Okay, and I'm going to trim those right down through there. And I'm just keeping my trimmer over here to the side so I don't have to pull it back and forth. Let's see if I can get this somewhat near straight. They don't have to be perfect. I'm just trimming them off. They don't even have to be even. Yeah, that will work. Now I don't need it that long, so we're gonna I'm gonna fold it right there and I'll trim that part off. I have to look up and make sure I'm not just talking to myself. Okay, I'm going to fold this just a little bit to the back. I don't know if this is how Carol did hers. She didn't show how she did it on screen. She already had hers made. But this is how I'm going to do mine. I'm going to fold that to the back. And then I'm just going to cap it over the end of those like that. And straighten this piece up because it's definitely not straight. There we go. It's a little bit better, I think. And then I think I'm going to staple mine just to be a little quicker. You could glue it if you wanted to, but I think I'm just going to staple. I'm going to go under here, and I'm just going to use my little tiny attacher. And we'll just staple it like that. There we go. Now I'm going to back this just so, because it needs to be a little bit thicker to hang over there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on this. And then put that right there. I think I'm going to round these corners. And that should be it. Now let's see if it fits. Stick those down in there. Okay, it is a little long. Maybe. Well, we can push it back up that way and it's not too long. So I'm going to leave it um, the person who gets it, if they want to trim it off, they can. But I'm going to leave it right now. Okay, we need a pretty big tag to go in here. A pretty long one, anyway. Not big, but long. That, I think that would fit right there. All we need to do is put a backing on it. Yeah. Okay, I have some paper. This is scrapbook paper, and I'm going to glue this on here. Because I need that tag to be kind of thick so that it will stick in there well. So I'm just going to glue it on here. And we should be able to write on the back of that. Oops. This is a very thick scrapbook paper. This is blue fern. It is almost to the point where it's too thick to do anything with. But um, it works well when you're making mini albums. But it is a very thick paper. Okay. Just even those ends up. Or hopefully I evened them up. I could have unevened them for all I know. Okay. Let's 
see if this is gonna fit before we embellish it any. Yep, it's gonna fit perfect. Now on this one, I think I might put a little doggy, and I might just put one of these tags on there. That's cute. Let's just do that. I like that. And we won't use this tag as a tag. It'll just be on the front like a faux tag. I'm just going to put some glue on here. Glue that straight down. I don't think I'm even going to put anything behind it because I don't want to cover up too much of that paper because I like it. Oops. A little crooked there, Edith. Okay, that's better. I don't know if it's straight, but it's better. And then up here we'll put a little label, and I'm going to round the corners on this as well. Yeah, Aaron was cleaning out here in the shop, and he said, Nana, you make such a mess when you craft. I said, I know, buddy. Because, you know, usually I just rake everything off on the floor. <laughs> then, I, then I worry about getting it up later. It's just a lot quicker. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll even use one of these again. Put snow down there because he's all dressed up for the snow, isn't he? Somebody said yesterday when I was apologizing for my grandkids texting me every five minutes while I was on the video. They said, don't apologize for that. It's Christmas. you got a lot of things on your mind. And boy, did she hit the nail on the head. I have got too many things on my mind. That's the problem. My pea brain. As my hubby used to say. Okay, I think that will work on there. I don't think we need anything else. Cute. When you pull that out, you'll have your little doggy. And I will come back and do the top toppers on this. I have to decide exactly what I want to put on them. Now we need a little tag here. And we can probably use some of these. I just love those little dogs. I may have to put a dog on a tag like I did before. These are all small. That's why I had them left over is because I don't really care for really small tags. I like bigger tags. I like a tag that's got enough room that you can ride on it. Okay, I think. No, we're not going to do a double Santa, Edith. Just make a tall tag out of that one. And then we'll put our little pups on there. And I'm, like I said, I am using scraps. You know, I was telling you yesterday, I am using my scraps as much as possible. I like to get rid of as many scraps as I can. Just helps out. And I still got tons that I need to get rid of because I've got a whole box over here. I need to have another sale and bag up pounds of my scraps and sell them I think. Okay, I think we're going to do it like that. But I am going to need to cut this off some so we'll cut it about right there. Alright, now I need some paper to put on the back. I think we'll do some straw paper on the back of this one. that. There's a little bit of writing right there that I wanted to cover. So I think we'll put this down there. Just cover that writing up. And then put our little doggy label. A doggy label. We'll put our little doggy tab up there. Oh, 
I like that, but I think I want a different label, different color. What about a green one? Yeah. Let's do Santa. He's all dressed up like Santa. And these are Melina's labels. They're in our digitals. They're all different colors. Someone asked me where I got all the labels. Well, there, Melina made them. Okay, I think I'm gonna. Okay, I got a bunch of people talking outside my door. I don't know who that is. Make that into a tag shape. Oh, that's cute. He's dressed up like Santa. All right, and then we got this pocket. Let me go and check and see who's outside my door. I'll be right back. Well, it was the mail lady and the UPS guy. They was having themselves a conversation out there beside my beside my drop box outside. <laughs> so I didn't. I couldn't even tell who it was. I could just hear somebody talking. And when I went to the door, they both said. Oh, hey, we didn't know we disturbed you. I said, well, I just heard somebody talking, and I know normally when there's packages, you know, that come up, y'all don't say anything, <laughs> except maybe you ring the doorbell or whatever. But um, they said, well, we just happened to drive up at the same time, so we thought we would talk to each other. I said, well, that's fine. No problem. I guess they was comparing how many packages they're having to deliver right now. I would not want to work for any kind of delivery service at this time of year. It's got to be hectic. I thought I would put this one in here since they're little girls here and don't really have a puppy dog. And I thought he would look cute peeking out that little opening there. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead. I don't know why I want to round all the corners. I guess because I don't want to cut any of this paper off because I don't want to get the Christmas cut off there. So I'm just going to round the corners. Got my backing on. Just put a little bit of ink on there just to cover any places that I might not have cut well. And then we'll tuck him in there and let him just peek out that little opening. That's cute. And I think I want to put something here. So let's see what we want to put there. I've got some of these little labels and tags left. We'll just put one of these down here. Sorry if you hear my chair screaking and popping. It needs a good oiling. And I just haven't stopped long enough to oil it. There we go. Cute. Okay. And then we've got this one. It's a corner pocket. So we might put Santa in this one. Yeah, I think he'd look good in there. So let's back this because this is printed on just plain, plain copy paper. So I need to back it with some book page and then back it with some paper to write on because it's very thin. Okay, let's just use this. This is not very thin, I mean, very thick either, but it'll work. Just need some little extra something inside that. Yeah, I hit the print button on this before I actually got ready to print, and it just, it printed just plain old plain old on my regular paper. That's not good. Now I'm going to leave just a little bit of that paper showing because it, this is a very old vintage paper. That'll work. And then we'll back it on this. This is pretty thick straw paper.
And I may even leave a little bit of that straw paper showing around that. I like that look. I don't know why I always miss this corner down here. Well, it looks like I missed that one too. Okay, that one's got it. So I think we'll tuck that in there. And I'm not going to trim the corners. I like it like it looks. Oh, I like that. I am going to put a little pull or something there, though, just because it's got that hole in it. Let's see. Let's just put some. Let's just put a little piece of this. This is very thin. It won't add a lot of bulk to it. And I think I'm just going to try to tuck it in here. I may not have left it long enough to do this, but if I didn't, we'll just tie it. No, I didn't. We'll tie it. I got too much glue on my hands. All I'm doing is pulling it right back out when I stuff it in there. Okay. Now, I can't pull that very tight because that paper is pretty thin. So, what I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue under it to just hold it in place and keep it from turning loose because this is like an organza. It's very, very slicky. Okay, there we go. When that dries well, it'll be fine. Okay, then... We're back to the front. All right, now we're ready to stitch our signatures in. So let me put the top on all my glues. So I don't think we're gonna need those for a little bit. Now I'll probably stitch one on camera and then the rest of them off camera just to keep it from being so, the video from being so long. I went ahead and cut some. Hopefully I've got them the right size. Sorry, my mind went blank there for a minute. I think I'll put that one there. And that one there. Now, I've just got a cover sheet, and then I've got just some scrap paper in there. Um, let me put that one there. It'll, it's a little bit, you know, I've got a lot going on, so that doily page will keep it a little bit. And then here, let me put that one. Let's see what I got left. Yeah, I think I'll put that one there, and then you flip it over, and you put one in here. So I think we're going to do that one. This is just a piece of vellum, and then I need one here. So we'll put that one there, and then one in here, and we'll put that one there. So when we get those stitched in, we'll have a nice, chunky little journal. It won't be too chunky, but it'll be, it'll be chunky enough. Now, I've just got four sheets in each one of these. I've got the cover sheet and then just some scraps here. So, I am going to clip these together if I can find the clip. Because if I don't, I'm, I know I'll end up letting them slide. Okay. Then, we're going to stitch it right there. Now, I made sure that they're shorter than where this starts angling there. And that they don't come all the way to the bottom. So, we're going to stitch it right there in the middle. Now, I've got a needle that has a pretty sharp point on it. So, I think I can just punch it through. But, we'll see. I may not be able to. Who knows? I'm going to go in the center first. Oh yeah, yeah, we can. So it's going through that fabric. It's going through my paper, whoops. And then we're gonna come back up here at the top and I'm just gonna stick it through there. When it's coming back up through here is when you have to just, just get it straight. Don't, I mean, get it in the middle. Don't let it slide too much. And then go down to the bottom and I'm just going down to the bottom where I can catch all of my pages. Nothing about this has to be 
exactly precise unless you want to do measuring and if you do you can go ahead all right we're gonna go right, right back in there right back in the center right there Well, I almost didn't leave myself enough to even pull it through. That's not good. There we go. Come on. Okay. All right, we'll take this little piece off. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Now, I just want to make sure that I've got that nice and tight. I like to look out here. Check it, too. Looks good. So then we'll double... Not that. And then I'm just going to cut these off because I'm not going to put anything else on them. There we go. We got our first signature stitched in. Neat. And I'll, I'll put something on here too, I'm sure. But you've got that page, that page, that page, and then just an um, old vintage book page. So you've got really eight pages that you can journal on. And then there's that. And then we've got this one. So I'm going to stitch the rest of them in and then we'll come back and finish the journal up. All of them are going to stitch in the same way. I have the signature stitched in. And I was just going to flip through real quick. I also went ahead and put the toppers on as I stitched the signatures in. So they've all got the same kind of topper as they do on the sides here so this is the front page now we may put a label or something down here I'm right now I'm just kind of deciding on any little added extras I always add some other stuff too before I send them out to their home all right there's that here's the first signature and we're going to put something here too I've just got to decide what I don't don't know exactly what I want there well, that would be pretty if we back it. So I'm just going to stick that in there. I'll probably back that with something put it in. And this has got eight pages. I'll put something here. I may even add another pocket. Who knows? Just depends. There's that one. There's that one. There's that signature. And then that one. That pocket. And that signature. And then, and I'll put something on here too to decorate that up a little bit. There's that one. And then here's our little notepad hanging. And I put a little doggy there. I thought I thought that looked cute when I started doing this page. I thought, mm, I'm going to put a little doggy there. And I hope I've got him straight. He looks a little crooked. Let me see if I can straighten him up or if I make him worse. I, did, I could have took it out and trimmed it, but I didn't. That's fine. And I'll probably put something here to make this a little bit heavier. Like I'll put an embellishment there so that that will stay down. But I did trim it off some because I wanted it to slide all the way down there. And then here is the little signature in there. It's got one of those uh, 1859 book pages in there. And then there's the back page. And then you start over this way. So here's this one. And there's the signature there. I love that vellum there. And then here's that one with the little tag. There's that one. And then here's the signature here. And like I said, all of these I may add a little bit of something to. I don't know. It'll depend on what it looks like when I lay something down there. And then there's that one with the little puppy peeping out. I love that. And then here's this one, and there is this signature. It's got some handmade paper in there, some coffee dyed paper, and then some of that vintage uh, book page. So there's that one, and then there's Santee in the back. So that is the journal, and I'm going to tie it with probably some green and red seam binding. 
All right, guys, I think that is it other than just a few embellishments that I will add. I will show this completed tomorrow when I start to do my video. I'll, go, I'll do another flip through of this just to show you what it looks like when I have all of the other little embellishments added in there. But that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.